So yeah, welcome back to Skyrim. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be fun. We get to see Lord Farquaad, Serana's dad. Uh, we we did the Forgotten Veil vale last time, and we ended up killing. We <laughs> we literally like made the snow elves extinct except for the one dude. You should do a reaction video to the Papa Lord YouTube vid. I have a question. Is it like funny or is it dark? What did Papa Louie do? Is Papa Louie like a wanted criminal? Is he evil? Hi, Serana. Oh, last time we were doing the Paragons. Okay. Why can't I move? Hello? Not over encumbered. Okay, Jesus. You're giving me a stroke, Serana. Oh, what's up? It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Funny and Still. ominous. I have a question. Why does Papa Louie own so many restaurants? He's got the cupcake area, donut area, the pizzeria, the wingeria, the freezeria. He's got them all. He's collecting that shit like Pokemon cards. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Serana, we're gonna go kill your dad. It's not easy, but I don't think we have much of a choice. No, this has to end here and now. Yay! If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. Yay! No, I'm done with the Forgotten Veil. Vale. I think I've done everything here. All the tomes, all the paragons, I did the secret boss. I think we're fine. I do need to go put some shit in my house, though. He travels through dimensions? Wait, really? Wait, okay, I have a question. Imagine in every single dimension, he's got a different, like, fooderia. In one dimension, he's got the pizzeria, and the other one, he's got a cup. And he just has different dimensions of all his different restaurants. That'd be kind of dope. Urf, urf, yes, dog. I hear you. I have so much shit I need to sell. There you go, Ariel's bow. I need to go put this on my trophy stand. That can be your head cannon. That'd be pretty cute. Oh, that's right. That's a that's a shield. The Ariel's bow and Ariel's shield. I gotta put it all on display. I like putting all the Ariel stuff over here. Looks good. So you got all that stuff just to put it in a museum? On God, listen, my house is literally a miniature museum. All of the rare shit I get. Look, Mirax armor, Mirax fucking sword, all the Daedric artifacts. I even have Yeez Grimoire's shield. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> listen, I like being. Is there anything else special I can put in here? I mean, hold on. Let me go put the ar uh, arrows away. Is the arrows go with the? Can I put can I put arrows here? I probably can. Here, have some have some arrows. Damn it! Damn you! How dare you? Who are you and why are you in my house? Okay, bye. I need to put my books away. I'm not gonna lie, I have so much carry weight just from books. I mean, I can't play that much. black book oh that's right i need to go okay the dogs are going crazy i need to go put the um the black books away because i forgot to do that oh fuck me i didn't mean to do that no give me that back god damn it no i took everything oh my god i'm gonna rage hold on And then I have a special place. Listen, I am so organized. I put the journals in a certain place. I, ooh. Oh, this special thing. I remember that. I'll keep that. I have a special place for literally everything. Okay. Listen, I'm very organized, okay? 
See, look, look, these are all the journal. I like the journals the best because it actually sounds like people talking. Like, most of the books, they're written like books, you know? But it actually gives more, like, in-depth to the characters and stuff, and I just think it's really cool. Oh, who's knocking on my phone? Sorry. Um, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the journals. I love putting all the journals because they actually sound like they're from characters. And I like that. I like reading them from time to time. And apparently I have a package. That That's nice. That's the spider note. Journal. And I usually put my rare books down here, like the Ogma Minfinium, the Lusty and Argonian Maze. Now, I really want to put the Unknown books, but I don't know if it'll let me. No, because it wants me to sell them to the dude. I like being organized. And you put all the notes here, because the notes are just little notes. I don't like putting them on bookshelves, because they look kind of ugly. Mm -hmm. God damn. I can't put any of this stuff away. <laughs> Where do you keep the lusty maid stuff? Listen, that's a secret, okay? That's a secret for another day. I'm gonna sell some things and then I guess we'll go storm the castle. You know what I wish you could do? After the Dawnguard quest, I wish you could actually keep the vampire castle. Like I could make it into a cool house. There's probably a mod for that. And what makes me so sad is I wish I could keep the death hounds. The death hounds are so freaking cool. Like I wish I could have the huskies and the death hounds. Again, there's probably a mod for that, but. I should start modding more. I keep saying that I'm gonna mod more because I don't- I think this is like the last major quest I'm doing besides like the Civil War. You're someone who can- the but finest weapons in I the keep saying it and then I always forget to do it because as soon as I get off stream, I just imme immediately like go take food or make a nap. Or- yes, I take food and make a nap, yes, yes. Um... No, I'll immediately like get off and go do something else and then i'll completely forget about it and then i'll never touch it again until like the next time i play well so what did i sell you that was worth like two thousand coins stuff of oh Mara, you. god you guys are broke i'm trying to sell you stuff and you can't even afford it god damn Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Okay. Oh, and you know what I want to try to do as well? I downloaded a mod for a cool that. Black Reach train. So I should do that one too. Uh, There's so much I want to do. So much in so little time. Actually, no, that's a lie. Take a look. And I'm so excited for the next Elder Scrolls game. Because I heard some, I didn't look it up, but I remember getting recommended like an article for something new that's happening with it. But I was kind of too lazy. Ooh, locket of Saint Jub. Okay, I'm keeping that. That's cool. What can I say? I'm a hoarder. God, when did I stop being broke? I'm trying to sell you everything in my inventory. Oh, and I forgot to put the paragons away too. Train? Yeah, I downloaded this see. mod that's like, it makes like, it's like a Blackreach train mod, and you can like, I actually don't know that much about it, all I know but. is that essentially you're like reviving an old like dwarven train station, and you can like ride around to different parts of Blackreach, and there's like a, like a mini quest line and everything, and it sounds super cool. Oh, and I haven't even done the Ethereum Forge quest yet. That one's like a mini hidden quest. It's really fun. Hi there. 
You have Ariel's bow. Oh, I put it in my house. I've heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. I'm sure you couldn't. Indeed. The day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind? Her own family? I don't know. I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men Also, I just realized I forgot to do something, so I might take like a ten minute mini break and Everyone, go do that. Gather round. Okay, okay, I gather round. Come on then. We haven't got all day. God damn. That guy is so bossy. the guy from the beginning what a cutie patootie are we all here are we gonna give a big speech i knew it would come to this one day i knew and no one believed and no one Stay believed who is that an ebony i might take that that's pretty Okay, what, Ezron? Like, damn, bitch, I ain't got all day. For too long, we've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. This army of, like, four people? Um, bones. actually, it's the six. Get it right? Us, and we must answer with it's pretty funny, though. The, the Civil War questline, there actually is a lot of, like, God I'd say there's anywhere from... Fifth... 50 to 70 dudes in like the big battles where you go fight for like you know white run and stuff but it's kind of funny the vampire quest thing because they hype it up so much they're like we're gonna go to war with vampires and it's literally like two groups of like seven people fighting and it's pretty funny then the oh i forgot you guys have trolls it's time we take the fight to their door. And this is where we get to go charge them, which is fun. Well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Mulgahar. Yes, sir. Watch your back. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, they're all clap. The way they clap is so like it's like when you clap when somebody's good at the piano. It's not like a war cry clap. I just find it so ironic because they're like, ah, oh, yes, bring the fight to them. We're going to go kill them. Our army and their army is like seven people. <laughs> it's so goofy. See, look at the trolls. They actually have armored trolls and you can buy them from them. They're like 500 each and they have huskies. Did you guys bring any huskies? No. Okay. You guys are lame. I wonder, can I confront you if I don't have Ariel's bow in my inventory? Maybe I should have kept it. Oh, sup, dog. Ah. Okay, his thing is pretty cool. No, I don't want to kill the death hound. I love the death hounds. They're so cool. Oh, sorry, troll. I don't want to kill the death hound. Cool. You know, all these named people that you see me killing the vampires. Because if you're with the vampires, you kill, like, ooh. If you're with the vampires, you kill all the, like, the Dawn Guard people. And if you're with the Dawn Guard, you kill all the vampire people. And you can actually, like, these guys, you can actually become, like, friends with and shit, which is nice. Hold on, I'm taking your clothes because I want to put them on a mannequin. Look at this! Look at us all beating the shit out of this one dude. Is nobody gonna finish off the Death Hound? Okay. I feel bad because I actually really like the uh, the Death Hounds. Pity clap. You look at our army. We're storming the castle. Raw. I guess. Where'd you come from? The crossbows are pretty cool though. In normal Skyrim, you only have bows, but in the Dawn Guard DLC, you actually have crossbows. Oh my god. Oh no, not Kyosith! I love Kyosith! He was my favorite death hound. That is so tragic. What's up, dog? Oh, your friend not though. You no, know, this castle is so cool. I wish I could keep it as house. 
one one. Wow, is anybody else there? This place is cool. I remember when I first became a vampire, I'd always, always rob this dude because he had such cool stuff. Hey, what you got in here? Ah, fascinating books. Hold on, I need uppies. Oh, what oh, familiar. Oh, and this is Serana's dad boss fight. All right, boys, wish me luck. <laughs> they didn't kill the I dog unit. Listen, listen I felt bad. <gasps> oh! Of course I it's Lord Farquaad! You me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this. You're really gonna let him disrespect you like that, Serana? Come on, come on, beat the shit out of him. Are you gonna sit there and take that? Family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No oh, you gonna take that level of disrespect? You will not touch her. So I see this dragon. Sure, it was a librarian. I'd probably scream your at you for being too loud, with honestly. The venom of your mother's influence. How alike you become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. Not anymore. You tell him, girl. Oh, sup, dog? <laughs> the way he just strides toward me. Daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before she'd return with hatred in her heart. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Yes, yes. Always the noble vampire. And what happens when you've slain me? Is Valerica next? Is Serana? <laughs> I'd never harm Serana. She's too important to me. <laughs> this is, you know what? You know, then fine. I'll be, I'll be the nice guy. Lost. She died the moment she accepted a mortal into her life. Mm -hmm. Enough of this. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. Uh, I don't got there the bow. Will not be a second. No. Very well then. You leave me no choice. Of how his mouth isn't moving when he's talking. Oh my bad. Come here. I'm coming for those toes. Come on. Don't run from me. Where's my bow? Oh, that's not what I wanted. What if I killed him as a werewolf? Wait, what the- what the fuck? Come on, stop moving! I'm very bad at aiming. Am I- am I even hurting him? I can't tell. Are my arrows going through you? Okay, maybe I need to use my- okay, fine. I guess my thing doesn't want to work. Get your sorry ass down here before- Don't make me haul my ass up here, young man. Hey! Hey, you knock that off! I don't know what you're doing over here, but knock it off! I do not appreciate it. Look at that. Damn, bro, that's pretty intense. You good, bro? That looks very ominous. Okay. Can I slap him? No. What the fuck? Come on, I need uppies. I need uppies. You get your ass over here, young man. My arrows are going through you and it's not making me happy, so therefore I need to come shank you. Serana, move your fat ass. Well, I'm getting a, a face full of vampire coochie. Oh, that shit, he just ran behind a corner. On oh, God. Look at this little security cat. Oh, sup, bro. Sup, dog. Come here. Come here. Come, come, come out right now. Come out here, young man. Oh. I'm trying to stop 
resing these things. I don't like them. I'm sure you will, you emo fuck. Come here. I'm gonna touch and switch to you. No, Serana, stop resing things. I don't like them. I swear to god, if you res another gargoyle, I will cast it. Now you, get your dumb ass out here. Come here, fight back. Fight back. We're just gonna stare at each other? I'm feeling a little romantical, you know. Are you, are you feeling this connection as well? Looking into each other's eyes? Ignore Serana, ignore Serana. She's not even there. I can hear her fighting shit in the fight. I guess that's- Do I have to help her? I kinda like staring at him. Okay, fine. Serana, what? What? What, Serana? What the fuck do you want? Am I supposed to do something here? Oh, it's you. Serana, stop rezzing shit! You, stop it. Knock that shit off. Hey, I think it's because I need Ariel's bow to do this. And I kind of put it in my own. Kind of romantic! I know, right? Come here. Come here. Get your coochie over here. I'm not gonna lie, I think I might actually need Ariel's bow to do this, and I shouldn't have put it in my hand. Kinky! If I have to go back and grab that stupid bow from my house, I'm gonna be very upset with you. Oh. Oh. You good, home slice? Damn, bro, that's rough. Sounds like a skill issue to me! Get teabagged, loser! Anyways, ooh, Black Soul Gem. Potion of Blood, that's cool. I know that's from one of the vampire quests if you choose to go with the vampires. Oh my god, I can take his clothes. I'm taking your clothes and putting them on a stand in my house. Very cool altar. Very emo. Now that's done. Oh, yeah, what's the- Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you creepily looking- Ah, why are you- uh, Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. <laughs> of course, <laughs> if you've got any more adventures planned. Like, look at him just creepily watching. He's like, like looking up at me like, and it's kind of weird. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, I want you to turn me into a vampire. Saying something about the vampire and the bow. Okay, cool. It's over. He's dead. And the prophecy dies with him. I... I suppose this is difficult for you. I think my father really died. Oh, look at him. Showing some character development. Feeling bad for a vampire. I think perhaps. I think you did more than that. You have my thanks. How so, sweet. The beast is destroyed. The beast is that, destroyed. But Ariel's bow is in safe hands. The Dawn Guard will now be dedicated to safeguarding it, making sure that prophecy will never come to pass. Up, dog. You serve Skyrim well. Thank you. Even with these vampires gone, the fight isn't completely over. Once we're settled back in at the fort, they will be Yeah, a lot of quest lines end like this. They're like, okay, once we get settled in again, they'll have more work to do. And all they'll do is just send you on repeatable quests. Like, they'll have you go kill a group of vampires in a cavern or something. You know, the Dark Brotherhood will have you kill some random bozo in some la-la land. I am here for you. Any thoughts? No. My mind is as empty as a beggar's purse. Noted. You really don't have a lot to say now, do you? And I guess that's it, Sar Serana, sorry about your dad. Are they gonna guard your house now? No, no, they just, uh, they go back to the Dawnguard castle and they kind of chill there. 
you know, just having like orgies and stuff. What? I didn't say anything. Oh. Fucking bozo. I'm still a little sad about killing the death hounds. They're cool. This this is a part of a vampire quest line. That's pretty cool. I just wish I could take over the castle because it's such a big, cool castle. Like, look at this. Look at this whole ass smithing room. It's so cool. And there's even co you can sleep in the coffins. Because, you know, vampires sleep in coffins. Super neat. I'm gonna look in the other rooms. I never got to look around on my first visit here, you know, because usually he'll kick you out. There's so much here. That is rough, buddy. Killed while you were sleeping. And I think this is Serana's dad's room. Yeah, look at look at this shit. He's got a cage and a BDSM thing. Bro's kind of kinky. He's even got his own little desk. How fancy. Was that a dragon priest dagger? Yeah, I've found a couple of those. They're really cool. And I love the blood potions. And here's his grand coffin. Ooh, jewels. Oh. Oopsie. And you mind if I if I take these? You don't you don't need it, do you? Move, I want the gold. This is I'm robbing him even after he's dead. What you got in the wardrobe? Oh, okay, that's pretty damn cool. Orcish Warhammer. Okay, pretty chill. A minimalist. I see, I see. I love how they have gargoyles mounted everywhere. That's so cool. That guy didn't even do anything just having a nap. Bro got killed while he was sleeping. That is so sad. Oh, this is the part that Harkon destroyed. This went out to Serana's mom's garden. I wish I could repair that and actually keep the entire house to myself. This was, I think, where Serana's mom lived. I think this was her house. Or her little area. Because it looks all abandoned and shit. Did I check out this room? I don't think I did. This must be the torture chamber. Okay. Oh, actually, no, I think this is the kitchen. Oh. Yeah, I think this is the kitchen. Is there anybody in here? <laughs> Very fancy. Nice kitchen. Gotta, gotta do something about the bloodstains, though. They're kind of ominous. Just saying. Oh, and here's this grand little throne. The potions? Okay, the way they did the potions of blood. Like, they look so fancy. They look so cool and fancy. Kitchen plus torpor torture chamber is efficient. I mean, they're vampires, so they usually eat their victims. <sniffs> Yummy. But no, it's such- Imagine having this entire castle as your house. And if I could repair Serana's mom's, like, beautiful thing. Oh, there is something you can do, though, that I totally forgot about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta show you guys this before I forget. I almost forgot about this. We're taking another trip through the soul, Karen. I'm sorry. I know. I hate that place. It's awful. It's terrible. But we gotta take... We gotta go through it one more time. One last time. Because there's something we gotta do. Oh, and I also gotta summon Dunavir. I forgot to do that. Dunavir. All right, come on, Arvac. Let's go. Wow, 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 wow,
We need to go find Serana's mom. Serana's mom, where are you? Milf! Lady Milf! No, apparently a lot of people don't know this, but after you finish the quest line, you can actually go back and talk to her mom. And I'll show you in a second. Damn, bitch, can this horse go any faster? Pretty cool, though. And there's the keepers. It's very fascinating. Are you here? Excuse me. I need uppies. Serana's mom! Milf? Where are you? I think she's over here. Serana's mom? Serana's mom? Where the fuck is this lady? Hey! Hey! Where are you? Shouldn't she be in like her study? Oh, I can't wait in this location either. That sucks. Where the fuck? Where is your mother? I know she's here. God damn it, I wanna go talk to her. Except after you finish the quest and talk to her, she does something super cool. Well, it's not super cool, but it's neat. Where the fuck is this lady? Hey! Where is she? Hold on, let me... I know there's a command to find the NPC. Rana's mom, NPC scam idea. Um. Okay, 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 okay. So, do 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 no, is it four? What the fuck? Oh, I did it, wait. Oh, it's E. Okay, there we go. You're blue balling us, I'm sorry. Okay, I finally fucking found her. Where the fuck are you? Sorry, sorry, I had to go get her. <laughs> Why are you all the way out here? What the fuck? Anyways. What? Are you certain? Yes, I killed him myself. And I see nothing preventing my return to Tavia. Allow me to gather some of my things, and I'll head back to Castle Bokahar. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. See? If you tell her that Harkon's dead, she'll actually go back to living into the castle and you can talk to her and speak with her. And she kind of takes over the castle. Where the fuck am I? 
damn lady in the middle of nowhere no okay now i can leave so basically she'll just pack up her things and if you come back you can find her around the castle and you can talk to her and interact with her and it's just kind of a neat because here it's just kind of a neat feature a lot of people forget after they finish this quest they're like oh lord harkon's dead quest ended like everything saved but you can actually go back to the soul karen because she's like yeah i'm never leaving the soul karen while harkon is alive and then when you kill him she's like oh shit he dead okay bet i'm coming back and it's not super big super her super huge can her daughter move in with her i believe um if you split ways with serana like you tell her i don't want her following you anymore i think she goes back to the dawn guard i think she stays in the dawn guard castle but i could be wrong I'm not gonna lie, usually after I finish this quest, I leave Serana and I don't pick her up again. Because I know people love Serana, but I actually don't like her that much. I mean, I like her, but not like super duper like her to where I want to keep her around 24-7. So I usually just end up like letting her stay with the Dawn Guard. Like, if you- I think there's a mod to marry Serana and she'll actually- Oh! It might take decades to restore the castle to its form. But I appear to have plenty of time. Oh sweet, she, how the fuck did you get here before me? Are you coming, old lady? I've planted some new herbs in the courtyard garden. I hope they'll work. Oh, uh, do you, I kind of hope that she rebuilds her entire garden. What now? Oh yeah, you can also cure Serana, and I don't like doing that, because once you cure her, there's no going back. Like, you can't get, like, this blood-tipped arrows anymore. I've planted some new herbs in the Ah, uh, yes, you've garden. said so. I hope I've work. planted some herbs in the garden, but yeah. Basically, she just moves back in, she starts taking care of her beautiful garden again. And it's so pretty. Oh no, it's kind of just a happy ending, you know? Harkon dies. She moves back in. Mother daughter love time, you know? Okay, I'm done now. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry. <laughs> no one will find your videos on Twitch? Exactly. Twitch is a live streaming platform, so nobody goes to Twitch to find videos. But, uh, yeah, I'm back. 247. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. We can continue with the game. I've, I've done my little thing. But yeah, here's the thing with Twitch. Everybody is like, oh, why do you post, like, your VODs on YouTube? And it's because, like, you don't go to Twitch to watch, like, past playthroughs or VODs. You go to Twitch to, like, see the live stuff. The live action. And for... This is it, I believe, but... Twitch, you go to to live stream. YouTube, you go to to usually watch videos. Like, I've been thinking for a while of transferring to streaming on YouTube instead, but I don't think I'm going to start streaming on YouTube um, until I get, like, monetization on YouTube. Because, like, okay. To make money on Twitch, you have to make certain standards. Like, you have to have a certain amount of average viewers, and, like, you have to stream for a certain amount of hours. On YouTube, it's kind of the same. You need, like, a certain amount of subscribers, and you need, like, a certain amount of, like, hours watched on YouTube. Oh, I need to summon Dernavir! What is this? Soul Essence Gem. I'm probably gonna sell the Ancient Falmer Tomes to this guy. And then I'll probably summon Dernavir. What do you think? That sounds about right. I should also do some Daedric Twist quest too because i haven't done the azura star quest i don't think and i don't know if i've done Bo have i done boethia's quest oh you're monetizing it nice because for youtube um for monetization i think you need four thousand watch hours and like 500 subscribers speaking of which insert cheeky youtube plug here go definitely subscribe to my youtube tee hee 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 people would still would come to us to have for such a, a thing oh. college take this 
it can't quite I didn't mean to sell you the Elder Scroll, but you can still. have that. Um. Well, well. Yeah, you want a Falmer tome? I've one of these beauties in a long time. I'd rather put them in my house, but I might just console command them and give them language. to myself so I can put them in my house. Damn right, I'm interested. Question is, are you? Well, considering no one else in Tell you what, you bring me books like this. Here, Here you go. go. Oh! Anis, does he give me... Oh, does he translate the unknown books for me? What are you looking at? Oh, I think he does. That's actually super cool. I forgot he did that. Oh my god, that's so cool. I accidentally sold the Elder Scroll. You know, that's fine though. I actually have it in my house. But here's the thing. Since my house is modded, it assumes that it's in my house that I must have sold it to this guy. So it'll give me an extra copy just to make sure I don't accidentally like soft lock my game. Which is super smart on their part. But yeah, the Ethereum Wars. That's the quest I want right. to do. The Ethereum Wars is, um, I'll give you a little bit of insight about it. Basically, super, super, super long ago. Uh... Where is it? It's this one, I believe. But with the Ethereum Wars, there used to be, there's like stuff called Ethereum. And it was like this super rare, really good mineral, like ore. Like, you know how they make armor out of iron and Daedric and stuff like that? It was this really powerful ore that was used by the dwarves. It was called Ethereum. And it's this bright kind of crystal blue, similar to Solstheim, like the, the ore on Solstheim. And basically, it got to the point where this ore was so rare and there was very little of it that people started going to war over it. And in the quest line, you actually find that there's like one piece left and you can make like one of three things from it. You can either make like a sword, I think it's a, a staff, a shield, and a crown. And they each give you very rare, unique abilities. Oh my god, I'm like clipping through things. But they each give you these super rare... by horse. But they each give you the super rare build. Like, my favorite to make was always the crown. Because the crown... Arvac, get your butt over here. The crown allows you to have the ability of two standing stones at once. You have the standing stone that you're currently equipped with, but when you put on the crown, you can put on another standing stone. And the standing stone are those, like, abilities that let you... There's, like, what, 16 standing stones? And they each have different abilities, and they're really cool. Um, the shield is, like, this super beautiful, cool shield. I don't remember what it does. It's, like, I don't know, just a really rare, cool shield. The staff... I don't remember what the staff does, but I also remember it being very cool. What I usually do is I make one of them, and then I just console command the other two, so I have all three. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, I just console command everything because I like having collectible, valuable shit. It is very fascinating to me. And then I also need to do some Daedric quest. I haven't done, I think I've done Hercene's quest, but I haven't done, I haven't done Azura's quest. I don't think I've done Boethia's quest. Um, I don't think I, I ha definitely haven't done the dog quest. I can't remember what his name was. Like Clavicus Vile or something. I haven't done his yet. Cheat just to hoard? On God, listen, I am a collector. Oh, also I should text my mom to pick up more pop because I just realized I'm out. I'm almost out of Coke. I have one can left next to me that I'm gonna open because I am a thirsty hoe. He <laughs> ASMR. I don't know why. Is it just me? I used to jokingly say that Coke cans opening, like, sounded sexy. And now people think I just fuck Coke cans. Listen, they make a very pleasing noise when you open them. That nice crack, the crunch, and the fizz. Guys, I swear I'm not sexually attracted to Coke cans. Please. <laughs> I love how there's a road over there and I'm taking the hardest possible fucking route. Oh, did I die from that? Oh. I can't believe I died from that. What the fuck? Fine, 
I guess the next time I'll take the road. <laughs> there is some sexual tension between you and Coke. Oh, it's Serana, you good? You're kind of T-posing there. I just think Coke is very yummy. There's nothing weird going on, I can assure you. Maybe I should just go this way, because this way is a lot harder. Markarth is built on the foundations of an ancient dwarven city. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Here, let's, let's try this again. <laughs> this time I won't fall off a mountain, I pinky promise. Oh, it's a mud crab. You know, the only reason I used to adopt kids in Skyrim is because sometimes they'll bring home pets. And I love when my kid used to, like, I would deny my kid every single pet they brought back unless it was a fox. Either a snow fox or a normal fox. But I thought they were so pretty and so cute, I'd literally only adopt a child just so I could get a pet fox because you can't get pet foxes in this game. Or at least not that I know of. Never heard of that kink before! What do you mean? Listen, just because I get off to the sound of a sexy Coke can opening doesn't mean I'm weird. To be fair, the only soda I drink is Coke. I am not picky. I will drink almost anything. I will drink Sprite, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Coke. Um, no, drink like Fanta. I am not picky. As long as it's sugary, sweet, and fizzy, I love it. <laughs> I'd just say Coke is probably my favorite, though. Also, I should also do the quest with uh, the Orc Stronghold. Because there's like four Orc Strongholds in the game and they're really cool. What's up, bro? Damn, that's rough. And I love that if Arvac dies, you can just resummon him. Because he's already dead. What's he gonna do? Die twice? Coke has a fine American taste. Did you know there actually used to be Coke the drug in Coca-Cola? Fun fact, I know I've said this a million times on stream, but I always love bringing it up. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I forget, after you kill the vampires, they get a little upset, and sometimes vampires will come back to you with death hounds. Oh, I missed. Hold on. Stop dodging! You're very hard to hit. Okay. I think I'm fine. Also, let me summon Dunavir. Dunavir! Here, dragon, dragon, dragon! As promised, I just realized I he doesn't have eyes. He's like so undead and like decaying, and I, he doesn't have eyes. The essence of your enemy's life I don't know if that's true. No, it's true. Bye, Dinavir. But yeah, you summon him three times, and every time he summons you, he tells you one, um, one new shout. Well, not sh new shout. He tells you. It's he gives you the full thing of soul tear. So first he'll give you this one, then he'll give you this one, then he'll give you this one. Up. Uh, Rip the homie. What the fuck? Bro just dipped. On oh god. Zombie dragon. He's so cute. He is so cool. I love him. Feel the last word of soul tearing within yourself. Zoal. The unlife that results when a soul is imprisoned in dead flesh. 
Okay, bye, home dog. You go have fun now, but not too much fun. Yeah. It's pretty neat. I love him. He's a homie. He cool. And I'm still so excited. I know a lot of the quests I have left are kind of like silly side quests, but I love them so much. What does that do? Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I don't use a lot of the shouts in the game. I'll look at it. Soul tear. Your thumb cuts through the flesh and shatters the soul, commanding the will. Oh, I think it's literally just a, uh, like a necromancer like shout. Turn back. Oh yeah. Oops, I fell. No, this is one of my favorite quests. This quest you can only find by like reading a book or just stumbling across the ruins and it's such a good quest Please, turn back before it's too late nope i'm not turning back you can't make me oh and i forget there's a lot of fucking falmer here too yeah this ruin is very unstable oh what's up dog what are you still doing here I don't fucking know. Let me guess. You're here for the treasure, aren't you? Just like all the others. Maybe. The name's Ketria. I am, uh, was, an adventurer. Raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years. I was on the trail of something big. It led me here, and I didn't make it. She died! You read the book, didn't you? The Ethereum Wars. That was my theory, you know. My research, my life's work, all of it lost. Stolen by my own damn apprentice. That's how I ended up here. I can't rest. Not until I find the forge. Until I can prove that it was my discovery. Yeah, basically her apprentice his. took all her stuff and, like, wrote a book and claimed it's it was hopeless. his. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. Hmm, maybe so. Then again, I thought I could too. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? I know. I know. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You... Want a hand? Yes, please. All right, lead on then. And I should probably send Serana home. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share. Of... Yes. Uh, go away. I'll be with the Dawn Guard. If you yeah, want. she goes home to the Dawn Guard. But no, I love this quest. It's so cool. And you can even see where she dies, Katrina. You can even see her dead corpse and take her bow. And I like taking her bow because it's pretty. Oh, there she is. Her bow is... Yeah, her bow is like, oh, her bow's right there. Her bow, she was apparently standing on this ledge and I don't know how she fell all the way over here, but she died and she fell. And her bow, you can actually go get it up there. And you can read her journal too, which is pretty fascinating. I don't know if I'll read it out loud right now. People who rob 20 tombs are adventurers, but when I rob one grave, I go to jail. Oh, hold on, I need to go carry in groceries. I'll be back in a second and I'll read you the journal. I'm sorry about that, I had to go carry in groceries. Whew. I'm tired though, I'm exhausted. Listen, groceries are so heavy. You ever carry so many groceries in one trip just so you don't have to make multiple trips? That's me for real. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's read this. Damn that scheming elf. Damn him. He steals my notes, my discovery, and publishes it under his name. 20 years of my life spent digging around those ruins, and what do I get? A dedication, a friend and colleague, my arse. He's just mocking me. We'll all have the last laugh. Terran may have my theory, but it doesn't have any proof. Not yet. If I can find the forge first, I can show the world this is my discovery. Mine, not his. I've got a leak. What of the moldy old books in 
Muzan mentioned the forge, ruined through and through, but I was able to copy down a few scraps, including a map of the first era Dwemer kingdoms. I need to cross-reference it with modern borders when I get back. Here's the result. Um, these are the different ruins you actually travel to in this quest. There's like four different ruins that you travel to. One, uh, I'm gonna pronounce these so wrong. Arkin, <laughs> no, I'm just gonna call it Ark. This one, Ark, was on the inscription too. Apparently the main Ethereum Research Center seems like a good place to start. Um, next one I'm just gonna call Batharzo. Allied city, not Batharz Dams though. Looks like a smaller site north or northwest of there on the river. Three, the primary source of Ethereum extracted from some deep mine. Four, a storage site for raw Ethereum just outside a major city. Apparently it had to be kept outside because the Ethereum was harmonically volatile. Five, no name, no identifying information, but the page after page of ruined diagrams couldn't make out much, but it looks like Astrolobe, a gear, some, si some sort of crest into four pieces. So basically what you do is you go to four different ruins, get like four crest pieces, and you come to this final one. Uh, could this be the location of the forge? Something important, at least. Ark, my map may be rough, but it was enough to get me here. There may be something in this after all. Reach the treasury. There's a lock here, still active. Judging from the corpses, it's safe to say the traps are still active, too. I couldn't find any clues, so I'll make a sketch and work through this carefully. Five resonators. Five tones. I just have to hit them in the right order. Let's see. I remember this. There's even a puzzle you have to solve here. <laughs> okay. You don't say. Oh, no, I love the trash dwarven ruins. They look so fascinating. Oh, I forgot about this one. I have to go up there, yeah. See, with all the ruins being trashed, you actually have to find alternate routes, and it's so cool. Listen, don't be in my way. How is a ghost even body blocking? And you don't move. Yeah, you have to shoot these pedestals, which are really cool. Oh. Did I just get booted out? See that thing? They're pretty fascinating. And there's lots of Falmer too, because these are Dwarven ruins. I was about to say, I think this is where she fell, if I remember right. I still don't get why the dwarves, or not the dwarves, the these guys would stay here. Like, it's so broken down, and stuff is constantly falling. Hold on. Where's your bow? Is it still- okay, no, it's still a little bit more up. What happened to the dwarves? Um, they were driven to extinction by Yeesgrimor, I believe. Because I think Yeesgrimor wiped out the dwarves and the snow elves. I could be wrong about the dwarves. I know he definitely wiped out the snow elves, but I'm not sure about the dwarves. I'm pretty sure it was him, but also don't take my word for it. But basically, the dwarves, like, they disappeared or went extinct or something, and all of these- There's a chest in there. Door sealed tight, though. I was about to say, is there anything I can hit? I don't see anything. But yeah, basically, um, the dwarves- I don't remember- I need to look it up. What happened? to the dwarves spare him. Um. <laughs> I 
don't remember. Actually, I think I could be wrong. I think Yskrimor only wiped out the Snow Elves. The Dwemer is kind of a big mystery. We don't know where they went or why they went extinct. The only thing we have left of the dwarves is all their ruins, like their big giant cities like Blackreach and stuff, because dwarves were known to be probably, I'd say, the most advanced civilization in Skyrim. Like, they had amazing technology, they were super smart, and they kind of just ended up, like, dying and disappearing. Well, not disappearing, more like it. Because Yskrimor wiped out the Snow Elves, and the rest of the Snow Elves went to seek shelter with the dwarves, the dwarves turn them into the Falmer, and then we don't really know what happened to the dwarves. Other than that, they're either gone or extinct, or they moved somewhere else. We don't know what happened to them, other than the fact that they're all gone, and we only have these ruins left of them. I love how he's fighting a ghost. Me fighting my inner demons, for real. Common Dwarf W. The dwarves... I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I think they're my favorite race in Skyrim. Like, we never actually, well, okay, besides the Khajiit, they're my favorite race. Because I think they're so fascinating. Like, Dwarven Ruins are... Yeah, there's her bow on the log that you can go get. But, um, Dwarves are my favorite just because their ruins are my favorite. I love all their technology. I love their, like, little robots. I think they're so fascinating. They're, like, my favorite characters. Yeah, she has a special bow. It even has its own name. It's pretty cool. But I'd love to see the dwarves in the future or see more ruins because they're fast. Like, this whole quest we're doing is because of the dwarven. The dwarven had these super advanced cities and they had this giant, the Ethereum Forge. The dwarves made that and it's this super, like, ancient forge that you can craft Ethereum with. Because here's the thing with Ethereum. Ethereum is not only super rare and super, like, it's one of the rarest metals, that's why people went to wart with it for stuff. But also, you need a very certain type of forge to craft it into things, and the only forge you can make Ethereum stuff at is the Ethereum Forge. Okay, so if I remember right, this one was one. This one was two. Hush. Uh, Right now? I'm in the middle of firing a bow. It's a lock. A tonal lock. Simple. I love dwarves and Warhammer. What's Warhammer? See the resonators up there. Strike them in the right order, and a door should open. Get it wrong, and well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. <gasps> yeah, I thought I was prepared for anything. Oh, so it was you who caused the earthquake. And that was just one trap. Look around. Who knows what else this thing is capable of? Hmm. Well, we can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Okay. Let's look at the dead bodies. You got anything, buddy? Any notes? Anything at all? What about this guy? Scrap of paper. Okay, yeah. So this one... That one's... Wait. That one up there is three. Oh, that was way too far up. And I'm willing to bet that the, mm, is the middle one for? We'll see. Oh, okay, not, not that one. Don't worry, it's just spiders, not an earthquake. I know if you get them all wrong, this big guy will come out and he's kind of scary. Okay, so you're one. You're two. Three. Four. So close. Five. Okay, good night. Yeah, if you get them all wrong, this big guy comes out.
look at him. That's a big boy. So this is it. And this is one of the crests. Ethereum shard. And there's four of these. It is real. Let me see it. Hmm. Look, on the edge here. This has been cut. Precisely cut. If you had another piece about the same size, it would it would snap right in. Mm-hmm. I saw a drawing of this once. This shard. It's it's part of a key. So yeah, key there's four shards you make to you use to make a key. Key to the forge. And then you get a key to the forge. We have to find the other pieces, of course. There should be hmm, three more. One for each of the four cities that worked on the forge. Yep. I had a map in my journal. That's where we should start. We still have to find the forge itself. Yeah, the forge is the very too. last thing you find. Ah, there's so much to do. I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. For the first time in a long while, I think I... We may actually be able to do this. And, and I owe it all to you. Thank you. And she's so nice. You actually, there's a lot of story with her. Like, she'll accompany you when you go to the other ruins. She'll, like, come with you and help you out. And she's super cool. And no, there's actually a thing. So, at the very end of the quest, you know how I told you you can forge one of the three items. Either a crown, a staff, or a shield. Well, fun fact, if you're carrying around the item that you crafted, you actually have a rare encounter like that can happen to you if you're just running around. Where the guy, her predecessor predecessor or whatever will come up to you and um you can basically confront him on stealing her work and kill him and that's pretty fun to do but sadly i think i'm gonna end stream here um ah cat get out nope Psst, don't bite that um one thing i've been thinking about doing is doing later night streams when i am playing overwatch with like my friends and we're doing comp and stuff i've been thinking about doing late streams because listen i'm not gonna lie i usually stream i get off for a few hours i eat and then i go play with my friends for hours and hours so i've been thinking about streaming with them but again i'm not it depends on if they want to one of my other friends was thinking of getting into streaming and that's because he wants to start streaming on youtube i was talking about yeah that's about it i'll probably do this quest you know either tomorrow or something next time i play because this is the next one I want to do. After that, I'll just start doing Daedra Quest, Mini Quest, you know, finding the rest of the Black Books, which I've been procrastinating on. There's just still so much to do. So even though we're done with a lot of the Skyrim main quest, I still have a whole bunch of quests to do. I love the mini quest. I know a lot of people might find it boring, but guess what? Too bad I'm still doing it. Um, but <laughs> thank you guys for coming today. It was fun playing Overwatch earlier. I hope you guys had fun, and I will see you tomorrow. So good night, goodbye, see you later.